Hi everyone, welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. I'm Cheryl Lee Harnish. Hi. And I'm the author of The Path of the Soul, Divine Guidance, and Return of Spirit Oracle Decks. And today's Pick a Card reading, the topic was actually suggested, suggested by TM on last week's video, and I so appreciate all the suggestions. I have a lot of juicy readings, and if you have more suggestions, please do leave them in the comments below. Thank you. So today's reading is messages for all the spiritual warriors. And that just like lit me up when I read that because, um, you know, walking a spiritual road or taking the spiritual path is not for the faint of heart. You know, uh, you have to be really brave and willing to look at yourself and to heal your wounds and rise above the place of you know, what life has thrown at us to become this, the true essence of who we are. And that it isn't easy. It's the hardest thing we could ever choose to do in our lives. So today's reading are messages to help inspire you and guide you and help you on your path. Okay. So, um, a quick shout out to a channel I discovered a few weeks ago. Her name is, I know I need to read it. Salmonary Jayansa, Jayasra, Jayasra. Okay, and I'm going to put it down in the timestamp in the comments. Now, she is a Buddhist nun, and she has taken the writings of all these spiritual gurus and masters and um, has put them to this really beautiful music, and she speaks it in a way that really brings you into center and helps, I don't know how, but it helps you to understand these teachings in such a way. So I play it often quietly in the background when I'm doing things. And I know that you guys will really enjoy her channel and I really would love to support the work that she's doing. So Seminara, I'm going to put her link down below. Okay, so for our choices today, we are going to do a two-tiered reading, but today's choices are going to also be cards. We're not doing charms today. But for our first tier, I decided we'd go with four choices because more is always better, right? So we have our kick-butt Buddhas because we are the spiritual warriors. So for our first level of reading, this will be choice number one, choice number two, choice number three, and choice number four. And so down below, we're going to have an additional um, choices, and I am just going to draw a couple cards for these. So our first choice for the second tier is our spirit quartz, and the second choice is um, our regular quartz crystal. Okay, so pause the video if you need. Always feel free to choose more than one selection here, guys, whatever works for you. And I'm really excited to get us started with our first reading. I'll see you in a minute. Hi, guys. For those of you who have chosen Kick Butt Buddha number one, Kick Butt, butt Buddha Monk, I guess is a better term. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> okay. Um... We're, this is clearly starting off with a bang for you guys. And um, the first card that we have here is the Awakening card. Okay. And that one is truly about enlightenment. Truly waking up to who and what you really are. Um, the next card we have is Healing with Intention. So I have a feeling there's a lot of you guys who have chosen group one who are healers in your healing process and likely your the need to go beyond your current life reality situation is what brought you to your spiritual path um, to begin to heal. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so the next card we have is Speak Your Truth. And... Um, Hmm. The last one is the celebration card. So, you know, with that celebration card coming out, 
it, it almost feels to me like they're talking about kind of restoring a bit of balance between this spiritual journey and focusing on your healing and you know healing doesn't just um, mean our emotional healing or physical healing you know it's kind of like healing our perception of the world and our minds and you know how we integrate our spiritual path into our lives and there's it almost has like this kind of heaviness I know I feel like okay a better word would be seriousness there seems to be a lot of seriousness going into this and I feel like with that celebration card this is talking kind of like a twofold thing of um, lightening up on this path that you know yes your work is important you know you're um, really coming to embrace and understand your spiritual path really coming to this place of being fully consciously aware of who and what you truly are like your enlightenment process but you did come here you did incarnate and so there's something about lightening up on that path and kind of stepping into the joy aspect of life too like you know as much as we want to focus on healing it is focusing on the joy that's in our lives the love that's in our lives and you know even just sitting quietly outside and watching the sunlight sparkle off the grass or off the water or those sort of things um there i'm just gonna pull out our other two cards that go with this reading and this will help really bring it together here okay group one spiritual warriors messages <laughs> okay so like I said, I do feel like for you guys, this is about enlightenment. Now, I I have to say with that awakening card, there is a lot. They are talking about coming to that place of really practicing mindfulness, presence, being in the moment, doing self-inquiry, you know, who am I? This I am that I am and you know through this process of enlightenment and realizing that you are not this physical body that we perceive ourselves to be there's also this separation or space from the ego mind from the this personality that we believe ourselves to be and that is where a huge amount of your healing um, is coming from but I also feel with this card here that a lot of you guys are healers and I know I say this often in the video but you know we teach what we need to learn and we learn what we need to teach and that's the same in with healing is we we need to heal ourselves before we step out and heal the world and often it's just our own process of healing that brings us to this place of even just sit our presence um kind of begins to evoke this healing energy in others bringing them you know we our energy kind of melds out there into the world and other people feel it and it, it calls them to awaken to their spiritual path and to their own healing but what I find interesting is that we have this speak your truth card so you know I have to say with this guy coming out it's all these blues all you know it's these indigo and blue colors and that's very much like the third eye chakra the throat chakra so I feel like there's a lot of work that needs to happen in here um, and I and I feel like that is really coming to a place where you rest within your your ultimate truth and being allowing yourself to step out of your fear of being that out here in the world 
because I, I know a lot of the time it can be difficult if you're on a spiritual path and your family and friends and co-workers and everyone else is like, oh, you're one of those flaky new age, you're crystal crunching people, <laughs> you know, and they, you know, they perceive it as hokey or whatever. And I feel like there is some sort of essence that they're speaking about here that a part of your own really healing and owning your spiritual path is to begin to speak your truth about um, what you believe or what you perceive or sharing with people your gifts that you are intuitive, that you do do healing. And, and I don't mean speak your truth as in begin to preach the way or anything like that. Um, but it's just this subtle in speaking it, you own it. You know what I mean? And so there's something here in this energy. And I know that because this is a group reading, I won't be able to pinpoint it for you individually. But there, I, I know that you'll feel that in your heart, what it is they're talking about, about you really coming up and um, giving yourself that voice and that freedom of expression that um, they're talking about here. So this is kind of cool i have to say so the other two cards that came out i don't know they won't lift off the table today <laughs> i don't know what's going on the other two cards we pulled are the prayers card and faith card okay and so i feel like in one way they are talking about with the prayers card um really getting serious about taking that time for prayer, meditation, visualization, doing things like um, your gratitude practice. And not that all of these things are for manifesting or any of that, but to, for you to have that space and time to really get centered and get quiet. You know, all of the things I was talking about, about the mindfulness and presence and all that. But it's almost like, you know, an attunement when we sit down and pray and in, in prayer of what is in our hearts like thank you universe thank you for whatever it is that you have gratitude for today and um you know the power of prayer to really rein in this mind and put it into a like a laser beam focus and it really it sets this sort of intention for yeah i know you want to be wild and crazy and unruly but i'm gonna rein you in and sit with in this this energy of prayer for what i am my gratitude for who i am in seeing myself and others the way that um uh, I feel is for the highest good and all of that so you know they really are talking about you doing the work with all of this I have to say the other card that we have here is the faith card and you know yes they're talking about faith in the universe and you know it's like there has to be an element, a part of you within that really surrenders to this journey that you're on. Like to really let go, to really surrender to it. And that does come through this cultivating this trust in yourself, trust in your intuition, trust that there is this divine um, um knowledge, wisdom, information, um, awareness that is moving you and guiding you in your life down the right path. So, you know, um, I have to say, guys, with this group one reading, it really is, they are talking about you doing this, the work, right? And I'm sure that you have been, but they're saying, like, it's time to really get serious because a part of your goal here is to really aim not just for the floofy stuff in your spirituality but for the absolute truth for freedom from this reality freedom in, in knowing the truth of who you are 
and it's also about stepping into your role as a healer and stepping into your role in your healing right because it feels like a lot of whatever this is that they're talking about as far as your gifts in healing is ultimately to help other people to help bring them onto their own path of awakening and their spirituality but with all of that they are still talking about you guys giving yourself the space to play and enjoy it and i have to say with this energy i do feel like they're you know because that celebration card is like this these happier times and that sort of thing it gives me the feeling of it i almost want to say when i picked it up and i want to say you know there are some really beautiful things coming in here for you and it feels like it's i don't want to say a reward but that kind of ah you did you've done well here you know in a pat on the back and just something that's juicy that kind of makes your heart sing and i wouldn't be surprised that that would come through here for you guys within the next couple weeks now um we are not done our reading we have part two which will either clarify this or point out a few other things that um spirit needs to deliver to you as far as messages so we have our spirit quartz and our regular quartz crystal to choose from and I am available for personal readings and all my information is down below and I will see you guys in part two. Hi group two, how are you? I love our kick butt Buddhas, Buddha monks, whatever they are. Okay, so let's see what we have for you. Oh, nice. Okay, this hasn't come out in a while. This is Nurturing Universe and I do have to point out we've got double spirals spirals healing growth expansion transformation and just the name of this card nurturing universe so i do feel like this is kind of the universe's way of saying like we got you thing it's okay you know it's okay um let's see what else we have here and then i'll go into the meaning more and we have hidden treasures again another spiral okay all right so lots of growth healing and transformation going on here oh and we have resolutions which is about um something working out something kind of either it comes to an end or you kind of get it figured out you know um whatever it is that you've been questioning about yourself your path or things or situations that have been happening in your life they're talking about a resolution coming to that because sometimes we can feel like that hanged man where we i was like okay I, I i don't get it like what is going on here and i feel like with that resolutions card they're kind of talking about a uh deeper perception you know a more open view that kind of helps you to come to that aha okay i get it and i accept this i surrender to this i let it go or um you know that it's that kind of energy that's attached with this okay and this guy came out last week so i have to say when these cards when there's ones that are coming to you um a couple times in a row there's some message that you have not yet integrated that the spirit's you know that spirit is like trying to hammer you on the head with and this is the lion guide card and it's master number 33 right so master number coming out nurturing universe and so i do have to say i feel like the universe is trying to say like just hold on don't give up hope or, um, you know, give in to just falling back asleep. Because this reading is for you guys who are these spiritual warriors. And a lot of the time, I have to say with that Nurturing Universe card coming out, that you guys are the, the givers and you're always 
taking care of someone else or you know putting your you're the one that if somebody needs help they can call you and you're always there emotionally mentally and even physically for them and i feel like the universe is talking about this space of you opening up and receiving like receiving some of that love back whether that is through some sort of transformation in your friendships or for you a transformation of you being more allowing uh, because you understand or know or come to know that you deserve to receive as much as your beautiful heart gives and so I really do feel like that nurturing universe card is talking about that kind of loving supportive energy coming into you but they are also reaffirming that that is a part of who you are as well because sometimes that being that kind of a person can feel like a curse you know <laughs> and not always like a gift you know because the nature of this world is um it can be taken advantage of sometimes and you know that's a part of our lessons in learning but the universe is saying that that this is a part of the gift of who you are right and that there is that that coming back for you and to you and with that said um i do have to with the um with the hidden treasures card you know this is talking about stuff gifts abilities um talent latent talents that that are like resting right here below the surface and and it almost feels to me with this resolutions card coming out with that that it feels like there's some sort of like um knowledge information deeper seeing or something like that into your own gifts and abilities and like it's almost like you know dusting off this old pirate's chest and opening it up and going oh this uh this is me i've got this oh my god and i feel like they they are you talking about you kind of coming to some sort of epiphanies about some gifts that you have some talent that you have or how to resolution how to use your gifts and your talents out in the world or even how to acknowledge the gifts and talents that you have and the reason i'm saying that is because we have the lion guy card here and he does look like this you know this lion with his eyes closed he has a very majestic powerful energy about him because he kind of like he trumps all of these cards and he is talking about um owning your kingdom this life this reality that you're experiencing i know that sometimes it, it feels like the universe is just taking us on this crazy roller coaster ride or this white river raft and you're just like holding on for dear life and you have no say no control it can feel like that at times but you know because this card is for you guys who are these spiritual warriors it's talking about you coming to that place of really understanding and knowing and claiming and owning yourself and your gifts and your talents and saying this is my world i incarnated into this world i am the one who ultimately has control here and i don't mean control like ego mind things are always going to work the way i want but you have this inner presence this divine essence in you that when we just get out of our damn way and let it out then things begin to manifest and fold in this very beautiful and natural alignment to who and what we are that brings us to where we're heading in our lives in a way that is less 
painful or less challenging that the struggles that we experience as we really step in and claim and own ourselves that these struggles or challenges that are hitting us in life they begin to dissipate because those challenges and struggles that we experience out here are they are literally happening to wake you up right and so this is talking about you really stepping into yourself in every way even if you're afraid at times even if it feels like your mind is trying to convince you that you can't or you wouldn't succeed or you're not enough or whatever it is this is about you claiming this incredible life that was a gift to you and for you to really own it and master life living master being in this crazy meat suit okay and i feel like there's a lot of love and support and nurturing coming in for you and a lot of love nurturing and support that you are built and geared and intended to share out here in the world and it's like the resolution of how do you do that how did you do that okay now this is only the first part of our reading there is more there's a few more cards we're gonna draw Oh, geez, I almost forgot our other two cards. Silly me. Just ignore me. Okay, so we have, <laughs> I feel a little silly, but um, the message is so powerful in here, you guys. I forgot to draw our, our additional two cards for this. Okay, see, now this is starting to make even more sense. So we have the storm card. And so I feel like that storm card is talking about um, what I've been talking about with you all along, those struggles and challenges, how when we really step in and begin to own our lives and own ourselves and, you know, and I have to say in doing that, we begin to naturally create some boundaries like, yes, I am a loving, spiritual, giving, kind person, but hey, this is the line you can't cross it like you know this is the boundary because it, it when you step into that role of owning your kingdom you know there's a strong element of self-love which is a lot of what that nurturing universe card is talking about and so i feel like with that storm card coming out it's talking about the the final crescendo of all this kind of tension and energy and coming up like these crashing waves in our lives um beginning to dissipate because there's more of the shift of stepping into your truth and really owning your life and so it's talking about that beginning to slow its roll so you can catch your breath right the other card that we have here is the contact card and you know to me this these two like platinum-ish gold energy coming to meet in the center with that contact card i have to say yes oftentimes it is talking about you making contact or connection with people here in the world so i wouldn't be surprised if there is someone who does reach out to you or you know divine intervention your paths just naturally cross who um, is like a support because the nurturing universe is like a support for you and helping get you through this bat last little bit so that you're sailing on more calmer seas and to really help you in this process of claiming your kingdom and claiming your truth and who you are. But I have to say the energy is so strong here with this contact card. I, I also do feel it like this is talking about contact with spirit because you know a lot of the times you know we're doing our spiritual work and we're just like at home and we're meditating or doing prayer or whatever it is and it's like okay am i crazy please am i crazy universe like you know i'm waiting for this sign and i'm waiting for this message and i'm not hearing it so and we do question ourselves whether we 
but you do have to be crazy if you, to to walk a spiritual path you have to be a little bit of crazy and it's the good kind of crazy okay because um the the amount of bravery and courage that it takes to really walk through life with open eyes is commendable and i feel like this contact card is talking about getting that some kind of like message back especially with that resolutions card coming here some like you know whether that is in the form of signs um from your spirit guides or like these knowings or messages kind of feeling i feel like there's going to be more of this personal connection for you with spirit your angels guides ascendant masters um you know whatever energies it is that you connect with okay so now we are ready for part two which is going to talk probably about a few other different things for you so we have our sport spirit quartz and our clear quartz to choose from and I am available for personal readings and all my information is down below and I'll see you in part two in just a second. Hi group three. All right. I really love, this is probably one of my most favorite of the kick butt Buddhas. I have to say. All right. So let's see what messages we have for you spiritual warriors here. Oh, I've got them upside down. This is we have the joyous card and i i do kind of see like two little eyes this button nose and this big beautiful smile in this golden energy and when i hold it up really close it's like vibrating like literally vibrating so that's quite the card to start with okay and we have oh companions love now this one has not come out in quite some time, so I'm excited that this one is out. And I have to say, with that Companions Love card, their talk, like part of your messages here today are about your relationships. And I would have to say, you know, more like your intimate relationships, your partnerships, or even your deepest, deepest friendships. Okay, but they are, this is relationships coming up. Oh my God. Okay. And we have renewal, which is also a relationship card. Um, and I, I swear I do not peri cherry pick my cards. I literally pick them and read them on, on camera. So, um, so where companions love is talking about more intimate relationships your closest relationships the renewal card is talking about a new a renewal in your relationships and it's also talking about um like our family relationships or you know the uh environment that we grow up in and the template that we come to understand that's imprinted on us from our relationship experiences as children. And so, um, and it is a spiral and they are talking about a degree or level of healing in your relationships. So what's the other one? Okay. And we have a master number coming out here, master number 11. And this is the infinite card, infinite possibilities. And I know it's hard to see on camera, but these are actually double spirals, two of them, two spirals spiraling out in the green here and with the infinity here too. So, you know, first of all, that's green there. You know, I feel like a part of the messages for you guys today as these spiritual warriors that they're talking about a lot of, you know, hard or challenging lessons that have come to you through the form of relationship right and with this green in here and this really vibrant um violet kind of color there it's kind of pointing uh, to the two chakras to the crown chakra which is violet and the heart which is green and it's almost like you know they're talking about heart and mind and getting this synced up and aligned 
because you know with that renewal card and all the spirals you know i get an element of of um really being challenged to heal your past to to move to this place where you go okay you know what this is what i grew up in this is what imprinted on my brain and yes i've had these relationships um you know we don't choose the love we want we choose the love we feel we deserve and a lot of the times we don't feel like we really we don't truly believe in a, on a subconscious level like our mind can say i believe i deserve better but on a subconscious level because of what we experienced in our childhood this program is running in the background that says you know i'm not worthy and nobody can really love me you know if my caregivers or important people in my childhood if they can't love me um then nobody really can and i deserve this kind of love that i experienced and when you really take the time to look at your current relationships there's strings elements of things playing out that this partner is reflecting back to you that's alive in you from your past and that's what that renewal card is so i feel like they you know they are talking about you going through this really deep process of really coming to this higher understanding of how your relationships or why your relationships have been manifesting in the way that they have and coming to heal that and that through this process i mean i keep saying this in this reading um with you guys in all these readings today like walking a spiritual path is is the most difficult it's so much easier to just be asleep and be a sheeple people there's cars driving by and i hope that that doesn't play out on the video so just ignore it um that you weren't here to be that right to just sleep through your life you came here to be spiritually awakened and to grow through these experiences that you have and you know these soul agreements that you made with these other souls to help you learn and evolve and grow beyond just this human human life to this higher greater spiritual understanding and i feel like that's part of what the infinite possibilities card is talking about and that through this healing there's a renewal that that is here for you in a way that you just cannot fathom with this human mind that you can have the, these level of relationships that that are truly deeply loving and unconditional and healthy right and all of the things that we wish and hope for in a relationship that 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 is absolutely doable and i have to say it's kind of like on a soul level that's one of the aims that you've kind of come in here with because with this joyous card coming up i feel like in a way that for those of you who are still like knee deep in the struggle of trying to get through this and i know that at times it can feel really hopeless and it's like what's the point of being here if i can't even you know experience real love or that i don't have anyone that i can truly give my heart to in a loving safe way sincerely and deeply and i feel like these two cards on either side the way that these laid out you know infinite possibilities and joyous and it's kind of saying oh wait this is a journey and a process of healing and there is so much more that 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 is still here for you to experience in ways that you just can't imagine at this moment and that there is joy here for you there is this life there is this opening because remember i was showing you guys how much energy is actually contained in this card 
and i feel like this is bringing you forcing you into this um personal growth process so that you come to this place where you are resting from this place of true joy from within yourself and it's not dependent or reliant on anything outside of you that it is from you know this conscious awareness that you are god and the energy of that divine essence of you emanating out through you and healing your relationships healing this ego the mind the subconscious beliefs okay so we have two more cards let's see what we've got here um i'm gonna take this one and this one <sighs> okay love love okay so the first card that it came out is the voice card and i had a similar one in the first reading which is speak your truth that came out in first but with the voice card you know i feel like this is talking about you having a voice in your relationships that i know that i can feel like we are a victim of the circumstances are, that are around us and the way that you know we experience it life it can be things can just come up and hit us by surprise in our relationships and you're like holy crap right um but i feel like this is talking about this movement into this empowerment where you do have a voice you do have a say right you do have a say about what your intimate relationships are what they look like how they manifest you do get to say um like with family and those who raised you whether you want them involved in your life still as an adult or not and i feel like this is talking about you coming to decisions and i normally don't say that about this card whoops i'm holding it backwards <laughs> um i don't normally say it about this card that this is about decisions but i really feel like they're talking about you having your say and um about the relationships that you are involved with and the kind of relationships that you are choosing to be involved with in the future to allow into your life and into your world but what i was saying here that there is this joy that's coming for you you guys this is the other card that i pulled and it's the return of spirit and this is this beautiful phoenix energy here and I said this a few weeks ago when this card came out, like just note that with this Phoenix, um, I want to say her, and so don't take offense, um, it's, we'll keep it gender clear, its wings are spread wide open, right? This is not some little Phoenix that's just perched um, or you're still a crumble of dirt and ash. This Phoenix has risen. And this is talking about your process of renewal, your process of rising from the ash of these relationships, right? And being come, being born anew, rising above and return of spirit. It does. It talks about shifting from that place of sadness and depression and loneliness and all of those other things that come with our relationships. And rising up with this feeling of, you know, the universe is with me. I am soul. I am God incarnated. I am love. This is who I am, right? And coming with that voice and saying, I get to choose now. I choose, I say, and this is how it's going to roll very empowering for you guys. Wow. It's beautiful energy. Okay, so I am available for personal readings. Um, all my information is down below and they are much more in-depth and personalized to you, just so you know. And um, we have still have part two, which is another message that you might not be expecting aside from this one. So we have our spirit quartz or our regular quartz crystal. I'll see you guys in part two in just a sec.
Hi everyone, for those of you who chose our Kick Butt Buddha number four. <sighs> okay, what does Spirit have to say for you, spiritual warriors? <laughs> okay, right off, they are no, no bars held this time. Okay, we have self-talk, and this card came out last week, all right? So, um, you know, if we are getting, if we're, if you are getting a card repeatedly in readings or cards at, in different readings that have the same message, there's something that you haven't fully integrated um, in your heart or in your mind about this message, and it's going to keep coming to you until you really take it in and integrate it into your life, okay? So the other card that we have here is the Freedom card. I hope that means freedom from your self-talk. Hmm, that would be lovely. Okay, we have the Consciousness card. And we have, oh, and we have the Doves card, which this one also came out last week. So there's some sort of repeating message here that is really strong. There must be something going on astrologically. Now, um, I really want to start with this self-talk card because this one does have the most energy going here. Um, and I'm actually going to move it over like this because these two, the consciousness card and the self-talk card, I feel like these really do work together. Because that self-talk card, to me, I see two big lips, right? And these are sharp, pointy teeth that point inward. And it's like ingesting or chewing on our words, the words that we say to ourselves, the kind of the, you know, when we are kind of lost to the moment into reality and we get sucked into this whole drama these stories that are playing out on our mind and these arguments that we're having with other people because you know we wish we had a said and i i should have said this and i should have done had done that and also the way that we talk to ourselves about what we really believe about ourselves you know it can be horrendous the the kind of tone or words that we use with ourselves and i always say you know you guys um that it's about us learning how to be with ourselves the way that we would be with our best friend or with you know a young child you would never the things that you say to yourself you would never say that to a child oh who do you think you are you think you can do that? You think you've, you don't have any talent or abilities. Look how badly you sucked at that. Are you kidding me? You know, you would never do that to a child or your best friend or anybody. But somehow it seems, you know, we've kind of, we believe it's okay for us to treat ourselves that way. And so for you guys this week, the universe is like calling you out and it's like, hey, enough of that and like especially with this consciousness card coming here because it is talking about you coming from that place of of getting sucked in you know like because the the ego the mind sucks our our attention away and brings us into this whole other imaginative world that doesn't even exist and we kind of live up here in these thoughts and this personality, this person who isn't really here. And this is talking about working on becoming conscious, conscious of your self-talk. So, you know, what I mean by that is it's not saying um, be on guard and then when you catch yourself talking poorly to yourself, Say something nasty to yourself like, oh, you dope, I can't believe you're talking crappy to yourself again. <laughs> because we would do that, right? That, that what they're talking about 
is to really rest within yourself and, and to become as present as you can and just to become aware of that talking and to become aware of what it's saying to you that it's not about engaging it or letting it because its whole job is like it's like a little fisherman and it's just trying to reel its rod out and hook you and suck you into it right and and in doing that you leave this present moment and this is talking about you really doing the work to become very conscious of what is playing out here in the mind and what kind of talk is happening and I feel like they are talking about um, you know the more you become aware of the talking the less hold it has on you that it takes um, juicier worms on the hook to to hook you and reel you back in that you begin to not buy into it and you begin to not really take it at face value anymore that it's like oh that voice which actually is not really you the real you is this awareness you are presence you are consciousness you aren't this voice that's in your head parading around as you and so I feel like they are talking about you really becoming conscious of this whole dynamic and role that the ego is playing in your life and I mean this also has a lot to do with self-esteem right so even though this is the you know messages for the spiritual warrior we are all here in these meat suits living this human life and so a lot of it we still have to overcome the human stuff so this is talking about you working on your self-esteem but I feel like with that freedom card coming out see how it's this Fibonacci spiral and it's it reminds me of a snail in its shell and in the booklet um, you know I wrote that it is about coming to this place where you get you you know we've built up these walls to kind of protect this really tender heart that we have and you know at the time when we are building this wall in our lives well it is important because it's important for our survival in that in that moment in those times but as we grow and progress there comes a time when we have to be brave enough to go okay I'm gonna step out of my shell I'm gonna step out from behind this protective wall and um, in doing that there there has to be this part of you that kind of let lets go and surrenders and say okay the past is the past and I'm stepping out here to be seen out here in the world and it can be scary because you know there's it's a very vulnerable feeling to be like exposed but the freedom card is talking about you really coming in um, not only just being seen by others but you know sharing more of your truth um, and allowing yourself these deeper connections with other people even if you have fear of being hurt or fear of being abandoned or fear that you aren't enough and all of these fears that keep playing out in our mind and running our show here and so you know that they are talking about this freedom in that way but I do feel like they're talking about a part of your path and your journey is about gaining gaining this freedom from this mind that is you know so consuming and bringing you to this place where you rest more as conscious awareness versus being a voice in your head now I really feel that this is like your encouragement card with with this set because we have the doves card and these two doves are kissing and their tails are connected and they spiral off into infinity and you know doves represent love and one of the big things with the doves card is it's talking about cycling from the old into the new and I feel like they're talking about you know for most of you guys 
you've been aware of this issue or situation happening and you've been doing the work to work your way through and it feels like they're talking about you breaking out of that old cycle and moving into a new cycle a new way of being a new way of talking to yourself a new way of allowing yourself out here in the world okay now we still have our two cards from this um return of spirit deck and I want this one and this one. Okay. So, <laughs> this is cute. Um, you know, it just so fits with everything that we've been saying because the first card out is the divinity card. And that is exactly what I've been talking about here with, you know, a change of consciousness of realizing you are not the voice. You are this divine awareness and, um, you know, a lot of this path or journey that you're on, what you're, go what you're growing through at this time is to bring you to that place of really resting in the truth of who you are in your own divinity. Now, this is interesting that this card came out, you guys. We've got the right card, okay? So I feel like... They are talking in some way about you um, journaling about this process that you're going through, journaling about your epiphanies as you become more conscious and watchful, mindful of what is playing out in here, that you start to journal it because we can forget, you know, we have these really like, holy crap, um, epiphanies. And then three days later, we totally forget about it and we're back to the old cycle. The old cycle. <laughs> um, and so I feel like they are talking about really getting diligent about journaling and writing your processes and writing your about your insights and your learning. But I would not be surprised because this is a message for you guys who are these spiritual warriors that there is some process of self-talk that's happening in here that is kind of keeping you um, um, away from really stepping into your truth and your your divinity and that there is something you are here to give in in the form like I have to say it does feel more like writing but it could be some sort of something that you are here to express to convey to share some sort of wisdom, knowledge, understanding. This could be writing um, beautiful poetry. This could be writing music. This could be writing books. This could be writing messages from the divine. There's something about writing that is really strong in your energy. And I have a feeling that most of you guys are going, oh, Spirit just called me out on that. <laughs> Now, this is not the end of your reading. We still have part two, which is going to talk about a few other things. And just so you know, I am available for personal readings, which are way more in-depth and personal to you. Um, but for our second tier today, we have choice of our rose quartz or our, reg our, our spirit quartz or our rose quartz. And I'll see you guys in part two in just a sec. Hi, Group A, our uh, Spirit Quartz people. So, okay, that one is definitely coming out. So, an additional message. What more does Spirit need to tell you for you spiritual warriors? And I'm going to go with this one for whatever reason, and I need the one right under the bottom there. Okay, so the first card that fell out is the gifted card and i love this because it does look like we could just pick the wrapping off this paper and open this up and i feel like you know they are talking about you opening up to your gifts um but once we get this <laughs> yes they are because the other card that's sitting here is the surfacing card. And that's like thousands of bubbles rising to the surface. And it is talking about, um, 
it is talking about again like latent abilities gift skills things that you have rising to the surface but i feel like i a, a different way that i want to say it is like we have these little uh, daydreams and callings and things that kind of float around in our minds and um sometimes we just kind of poo poo it or we won't acknowledge it because that's too far fetched you know how could i ever do whatever it is that's playing out in your mind right and i feel like this is kind of saying that that this these little callings that i want to call them they're going to start to get stronger they're going to rise to the surface where they're more in your face and because this is about you really stepping into your gifts and I know that um, it can be intimidating when, you know, you're feeling like you're being called down a road that you don't feel fully equipped for. And I feel like the universe is trying to say to you that you are more equipped than you are giving yourself credit for. The other card that we have here is the simplicity card. And so with this card coming out, it's almost like, I'm just going to use a, a general example with this card. So what this is asking for is for you to approach this whole situation of you utilizing your gifts and doing them out here in the world to simplify this process. Because a lot of the time we get we get stuck on the end ideal. So let's say, for example, you you have these little things that you would love to like start channeling messages from spirit. And our the mind goes right to the very end. You channeling these messages, whether it's in writing or whatnot, and bringing them out to people in your like, you know, you get stuck on that big picture. Like, I don't want to be seen in that way. And I don't want everyone, you know, I don't want to be in the spotlight. And I don't want that kind of responsibility and that pressure. And, and it's almost like, re reel yourself back in to just now, to the very what is the very first step to you stepping in and kind of claiming your gifts and claiming some of these um, daydreams and callings? And I, and I call them callings because that really is your intuition whispering to you, your heart, your soul whispering to you as to where to go with your life. And just reel it back into step one. What's the very first thing I have to do? you know, which would be maybe for now, I'm going to um, practice with my intuition more, or if you're further advanced, um, you know, I'm really going to start to embrace doing readings for other people now. So with that simplicity card, they're kind of saying, don't step to the end result, the end goal, and be completely overwhelmed by that. Reel it all back into right now, because this is about what's rising within you rising up and um, you stepping into your gifts and really, really claiming them. Okay. So if you enjoyed your reading, please do hit the like, subscribe, share the video. I'm so glad that you joined me today, you guys. I wish you so much love on your path and I will see you again next week. Take care. Hi, Group B, for those of you who have chosen our regular quartz, Let's see what message Spirit has. I'm going to shuffle them for a bit. Just a sec. Message for Group B. Message for Group B. And spiritual Warriors. And right off the bat, I know I need this card here. And I feel like I'm going to take this one. And this one. These ones just fell out of the top. Okay. Wow. Wow. So the first card out is the power card. So this is very much about you claiming your power, you owning your power, stepping into your power um, in the best way you know. And, um, you know, it's self-correcting, I have to say. So, you know, even though we're unsure or we may have more of a, a masculine idea of stepping into power which is authority command control that even the intention behind you um, owning your power and claiming your power 
the, the universe is self-correcting and it'll bring you into this really beautiful balance of being present and here and in your power and it's this beautiful gentle strength that emanates from you that has nothing to do with control or authority or any of those things that we may associate with power unhealthy power but there's something in here that is very much about you stepping into your power but what's interesting is the next card out is the manifest card so i feel like you know one of the messages here because this is spiritual warriors is you guys really getting your game on as far as taking the helm of your world and your reality and learning and understand how it is that you are creating every moment every experience that you have it while you are incarnated that that is actually what's happening you're not being taken you know by whim at the universe's whim that we are manifestors and it's really stepping into your power and into your truth on how you manifest and the other card see now this is it's making me giggle because the other card that here is here is the worthy card and this is saying that um you know the things that you truly in your heart not just the ego stuff oh i want a new car but the stuff that you truly want to manifest in your life with you know like peace and love companionship um life path your purpose those sort of things that you are absolutely worthy of having those you are as deserving as any other every other soul on this planet and that you are worthy of um owning this amazing gift of inner strength and owning your truth and owning who you are in this world so um you know it's kind of like this um interwoven message about your strength, about your own empowerment, coming to understand your empowerment, uh, part of your power as a soul, as a manifester, and understanding your worth. Okay, so I want to thank you guys for being here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. I am sending you guys all my love. Take care, and I will see you guys again next week.